Darren, didn't I tell your ugly ass if next Friday we're around here and I find out that there was any truth that you slept with that ugly ass woman that everybody better be in they fume best. I said that right. I said had your black dress, black veil, black shoes, and y'all thought I was lying, didn't you? I won't lie. Girl, what y'all got going on, child? So listen. Put a ring on it, y'all. Let me listen. <laughs> Wait, let me stay in character. Because I ain't supposed to be laughing. This is funny. But I'm not... But it's not funny. This is funny. But this is not funny. Darren, you are the weakest, most pathetic, most idiotic, mo most, 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 most imbecilic, most, most, most... I, oh, my God. I can't think of, of what else to call you. Like... And Lord knows... <laughs> Will we get all God? Oh my God, Kai, you better put, you better call Jesus and put him on the main line, bitch. Cause I'm telling you right now, the, the way I finish. Okay. So Sean, so Sean goes, so Sean goes on, goes on another date with. It's not Tara. How you say that lady name? Ty, Look, it's just going to be Tara, all right? No no shade, sis. I, I know that's not the way you pronounce it, but that's just the way I can think about it right now because I'm really trying to get all y'all asses up out the way because I, I really want to go on ahead and get this eulogy to that silverback and that orangutan right quick. Now, that, that's honestly what I want to do. So y'all are going to be the notices, the announcements, um, the, the, the cards, the bereavement cards and all that, and, you know, we're going to get down to this eulogy. So, um... <laughs> so this week Eric Eric, Jessica, LaRonda, Sean and Sean goes out on a dates Alexia will be going to work on herself and her relationship um, fuck ass Darren is looking forward to ending things with um, Kai yeah I bet you is looking forward to end shit with Kai you wanna like that's real crazy how you trying to get up here and make it seem as if you're doing this because you really want this and you're doing it because you're really a good guy to your heart and to your core. And the thing about it is I feel so played like Alexia because you made a fool of me and I really want you to tell me why. The entire time I'm sitting up here going, really going and and, and a lot of people want to get up under my comments and send me DMs trying to take up for Kai, talk about something. Well, Kai really don't owe nobody nothing, blah, blah, blah. This could just be for the show, yada, 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 yada. Girl, fuck you and fuck your opinion too because it's stupid and it's idiotic. Nobody wants to get up here and be made a fool of like this for, for national TV. Nobody wants to be made a fool of. And I just feel like for you to come up here and out of, like... And again, it don't make it right no matter who it is. I don't give a damn who it is. It, 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 it Bitch, it could have been Rihanna. And had you fucked her, I still would feel the same way about you. You's a fuck-ass nigga. So it has nothing really to do with looks or whatever, but I really just want to read her. You gonna sit there and lose your good thing for that bitch? That out of shape, upside down, ain't looking at... Like, bitch, I know you the fuck lying to me. Not that to... So this week, they are to focus on um, their visions of marriage, whatever that may be. Um, LaRonda and Sean talk about their date. And LaRonda, um, blah, blah, blah. Sean says LaRonda is the first relationship that he's been faithful in. And that's why he has to push back with Tyra because she makes it hard for him. I mean, listen, let me put this up for this. Sean, child, girl. <laughs> Girl, am I giving Deacon S number two realness? I wish I could say I was giving first lady, but nah, her head wouldn't look this toe up. It's always them, a lot of them frowsy deacons that had a shit toe up. But it ain't going to be Deacon S number one or number two. They usually the most laid. Child. Anyway, um, Sean, listen. You know you my bro and I rock with you the long way, Sean. I really do. And I love the fact that you don't never take what I tell you seriously at all. You 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 know, you do what you're supposed to do with my roasting gags. Because I don't really got nothing for you, Sean. I don't think you're a bad person. But 
<laughs> so I asked you what your sign was. I thought you was a cancer, but somebody came up under my comments and corrected me and said that you were a Sagittarius. Get up under the comments and correct me if I'm wrong, but they said you was a Sagittarius and I'm really starting to believe it because you hold a lot of portray a lot of traits that Sagittarius holds that would just make me be nothing more than a friend to them because a lot of the things that they do where they feel like they're coming off lighthearted and they're thinking that they're protecting your feelings, you actually hurt it and you make it worse. And I, if you are, a Sag. Give me the get in the comments if you're not. If you are a Sag, you know what I'm saying? I know that about Sages and I'm gay. So the Sag I dated was a man and, and like you are. Because Sag men and Sag women, they are a little bit different. But I, I mean, like you really don't even know this woman like that for real, for real. For there to be any type of real feelings like that. Like that's just the way I feel about this. Like, I mean, unless y'all have outside conversations outside the show off of cameras that people don't know about obviously y'all do look at um oh we gonna get to that in a second y'all know what i mean so, i mean unless that's what's going on and that's how you're able to harbor these feelings those kind of feel i i mean okay sean i'm gonna let you have it i am um because like i said laronda look like she'll kick you high your ass anyway so, Eric and Jessica. So, Eric goes on his date with Leilani, and he's looking forward to it. Um, Leilani, let me tell you something, bitch. That black dress you had on, it was everything. Lord, it was everything. Let me tell you something. When, 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 girl, <laughs> when the potentials fight back, girl, let me tell you something. You and Tara, and I know that's not that lady name. I want to say it's Tore. Tare. I think it's Tare. I think it's Tare. But um Leilani and Tare, hands down. Thank y'all for getting up here and being real women because that's what y'all are. Thank you for not coming up here giving us baby mama realness and 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 you know just 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 a, a sucker for any damn thing. Like thank you for being strong independent women women and you know how not to let a dirty ass nigga talk you up out of your goddamn drawers cuz you so damn desperate and Moving on, we'll get to that when we get to it. Um, anyway, uh, Jessica, them shot glasses with your picture on it, bitch. I hollered. <laughs> that was cute, though. I was down for that, Jessica. That was cute. I ain't mad at that. Like, <laughs> it was petty. It was petty. But I rocked with it. I, I did. I, I thought it was hilarious. Girl, Eric won't hear for it. Eric won't hear for it at all. But I guess so, child. Um, I thought it was funny. So, fuck ass Darren and Alexia at home talking about their vision. So that fuck nigga, um, says that when it comes to marriage, he's only doing it for her. Um, but you know, if, if and when it does happen, he just hopes he doesn't lose the fun. As far as I'm concerned, you having way too much fun now, fuck nigga. When the hell did you have time to go pooch off to go? Listen. I didn't think you was into bestiality, but you proved me wrong setting up that girl. <laughs> like, every time that bitch step on the scene, I feel like the minute she step out of the car, she beat her goddamn chest. Yeah, I said it, and I don't give a damn who get mad at it, because that bitch deserve it. You got up, you got up here for some dick. That's what you came up here for? You was that desperate and hard up for some dick, girl? You ain't got no nigga around there to fuck you real good? Child, you know what? Anyway, Alexia says that um, she wants to be heard and she wants more support from him. And he blames his upbringing and not having positive role models when it comes to marriage. I don't want to hear that shit. Like, I feel like at a certain... Child, this is what we got to do down to the fumes. I don't want to hear that shit. Like, I feel like at a certain age, you just know to grow the hell up. 
that's just how I feel. And, and you come to a point where if you want to break a ge generational curse, then you would do that. I never really understood that about people. What the fuck does somebody else's marriage... Why should you lie, elect that and allow that dictate you and your life and what you want for yourself? And who the fuck are you to sit up and think that she's supposed to sit around and just wait for you to decide when you want to marry her? So now you anxious to give her a baby. Why? Because giving her a baby will keep her quiet to um from, from questioning you about marriage. Bitch, she don't want to be your fucking baby mama. Who the hell you think you is? Nigga, you ain't even making no... Da 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 Darren, don't nobody, like I said, I'm 33. Don't nobody I know 33 and older than I do go around here bumping in and listening to you talk about something. That's why you got that car though. Child, please. That condo was your damn fuck pad. That's probably where you fucked her ass at. And you and child all of them moths and feathers and eggshells and and, and, and and shit turds and everything else. Birds like her carry was probably around there. And that's why you ready to get rid of that condo. Because you know that shit gonna get you caught up. Like that, I, listen, stop blaming everybody else for the shit that you've done. Stop blaming whatever your grandparents had going on. That's not your situation. Whatever your aunts or uncles marriage had going on. That's not your situation. Why would you want to base what you had on them any damn way? You should be wanting to go out and make better and make better choices. And you know what I'm saying? Find a person you really want to be with. But I just feel like after 14 years, would it? So Jessica and Dr. Nicole talk. So she wants Eric to trust her more. Um, and at this point, she don't know what else to do about all of his questioning. So then Jessica talks about her childhood and how she fought a lot because she was picked on about her looks. And that's why she's always guarded up. Um, I didn't know that about you, Jessica. So thank you for sh sharing that because to see you now, you would have never had thought that. I never would have thought that. I never would have thought that you know you shared any type of had any type of insecurities because, I mean, you come off as a confident woman where at least you did until you got up on this show. I think this show had to humble you a little bit when it came to that. But when it comes to you and Eric, I do understand how you feel and where you're coming from. Like, I feel like the only reason why Eric is really going up for Leilani the way he is is only because she's a different race and she, she, she's... She level eight of her uh, Rosetta Stone of her uh, that she she surpassed Jocelyn, Hosseline. You know she surpassed her and her Rosetta Stone. Like I that's really what I feel like with Eric. I feel like first they have to be pretty and exotic, and then we'll see what else they have after that. Like that's just really what I get from. And Eric, if I'm wrong, get me together in the comments. I don't have no problems with you, Eric. If I got it wrong, let me know. Jessica, if I got it wrong, let me know. Ask Alexia and them. You can come talk to me, child. I ain't going to put your business out on Front Street, child. Not like how I am going to do this production in a minute. Um, but um, I'm sorry you went through that. Um, you, but, you know, listen, what don't kill you make you stronger. So, you know, I'm glad you know how to fight. I'm glad you're not another little pretty little light-skinned girl out here that's depending on her looks to get her out of anything. Girl, you had to fight <laughs> all your life and you be damned. If another bitch put their hands on you, I'm down for it, Jessica. I'm here for you, baby. I ain't got no issue with you at all, boo. So, uh, da -da 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 -da. so Sean and Tyra go. I said I want the lady name. What is that? I just said the lady name. Tyra. Tyra. Sean and Tyra go on that dress. Tyra, that burgundy dress was everything. Baby, you just. It was so fish. That dress was so fish. Like, it it complimented your skin tone. I love the little snake thing that you had around there. I think it was on your nose, something like that. I think that's what it was. I don't know. I could have been wrong. But, you know, I just loved the child. Like, that baby, that dress was some fierce, baby. I lived for that dress, girl. You better... That, that's how you walk, sis. Yes. Walk in all your glory. Walk in all your glory. Now, that's a beautiful black queen right there. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway... I did like the conversation between the two of them. Like, once Sean really just let the process be what it is, you know, and he made it very clear 
that you know he not he not choosing nobody. He going on his date and he's allowing it to just flow and have a good time. But at the end of the day, he's reminding himself more so than any of us. But he's reminding himself that he's in a relationship and that he loves um my homegirl and yada yada yada. So I'm gonna let you have it, Sean. I am. And I like your shirt this episode. Thank you so much. So Eric and Leilani go out on a dinner. So Eric is excited for his date because he feels comfortable with her and most importantly she listens to him all right eric i'll let you have it that's what you say so leilani is very handsy um and he acknowledges that now i do like that i do like you 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 pushed back you pulled back you know what i'm saying you really didn't feed into everything that she was trying to give you i mean she kind of was landing on a little thick leilani i ain't gonna lie to you sis now i like it i ain't got no problem with you but you was kind of landing on just a little bit thick sis you was i'm just gonna be real but um i'm glad you acknowledged it i'm glad that you you know eased back you know pushed back but you you wasn't rude you wasn't rude it, it, it was very classy the way you handled it i'm glad you acknowledged it and boom you already know what that said i, I was here for it um so Dr. Nicole meet with the guys to talk, and I enjoyed their conversation. I enjoyed the conversation they had about ma toxic masculinity, about how all three of them was basically taught to really not express their emotions and their feelings. Well, we all see how that worked out. We all see how that worked out for Sean. <laughs> we all see how that worked out for Sean, girl. Um, but all three of them, all three of them shared the similar experience when it came to that, and I'm glad that conversation was had amongst straight black men i'm glad that that conversation was had. and let me tell you something do not be afraid i was about to say it's scared <laughs> do not be afraid to express your feelings your emotions like when sean cried it really doesn't bother me because i'm not used to seeing men around my age we was brought up around the same era i'm not really used to seeing them show emotion like that you know what i'm saying so to see that he doesn't mind expressing and having emotions like that that's that's what I like the most about him. I can appreciate that. You sensitive. I, I like that in a man. You know. But um, you know, I, I was glad y'all had that conversation. I am. I, I, I appreciated that. Um fuck ass Darren talking about something he need help with his feelings. Ooh, I'm about to fix your feelings right now, Darren, because the time has come, child. Girl, let's get on here to get down to this nasty piece of uh to this nasty piece of, uh, what they call it? Eulogy down to these films. So, fuck ass Darian and that whore meet up so that he can end things. So, she said he ghosted her for 10 days. And a conversation has to happen. He tells her that he's basically choosing Alexia's feelings over her. That, bas well, basically, this is what he said to her. Me not choosing you makes things better in my household. So, that's the reason why I'm not with you. Not... Because you're causing problems and issues with my lady and I can't have that. Not her feelings are what's most important and not you in this show. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know, that's my baby. I've been with her for 14 years. Like, what the hell are you, what, what, what make you think such and such and such a. Not none of that. It was solely because him not choosing you or her, whatever, would just make things better in his household. I really didn't appreciate that, that, that comment i didn't maybe it's just me maybe i'm reading too much into it but i ain't appreciate that um then she asked did he tell her about all the times that they really seen each other she says that he needs to take accountability for his actions and stop blaming everybody else because he doesn't know what he wants apparently and she decides to let it be known that they slept together probably in more than one occasion now little birdie told me Y'all know when I get the roast to the gagging and giving out eulogies at the fumes, I need my water. Now, little birdie told me that <laughs> a little birdie told me that one of the one of the crew on productions told fuck ass Darian that Jessica wanted to sleep with him. And uh, what else I heard about that was they went live and talked about it. And she sent me screenshots about it. And um, I went to Jessica's page because we don't follow each other. So I didn't know if her page was private or not. But um, her page was open and I looked at her stories because they just sent it to me today. And I looked at her stories and 
I didn't see it on her stories, but they sent it to me. Um, so for the people that may not know what was said or whatever the case may be, and y'all really want to know what he did to this damn woman that did absolutely nothing to him, but just take up for, um, you know, take, take up for, for her girl. Um, Lord, where is it? 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 Is it this? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they sent me and said, Darian, Jessica, and Eric was fussing in his comments yesterday. A producer told Darian Jessica liked him. And they was going up at it with each other up under the comments, child. Um... Child. So I'm assuming um this is Eric and he's and he's saying um nigga please cut the bullshit out smoke and then smoke said BS bro what show are you watching love and marriage and then Jessica came under that and said the MF and cat this show would be exactly what it is with or without you. Don't get on here capping for these folks. We know the real tea. Please don't make me proceed and air your ass out. And you owe Alexia money. Cut <laughs> money because your overgrown broke ass couldn't pay your rent. Oh my God, Jessica. Jessica up here giving out the uh, eulogy, bitch. So then he comes back and say... Baby, you want to fuck me that bad? Question mark. Girl, please. She don't want to touch you with a 10-foot pole, child. You in the bestiality. After you done set up and had sex with that damn war hog for Lord knows how many times, child. Girl, Jessica don't want you. The hell make you... The hell Jessica supposed to... The hell make you think Jessica won't you? Anyway. So somebody came up under the post and said, I only watch because of you, LOL. And then... She was talking to Darren, and then Darren came back and said, everybody else does too. Without me, the show wouldn't be shit. So, um, girl, the delusions of grandeur are real. So, <laughs> girl, d -d 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 listen, y'all, that's all I got. I ain't got no more to get y'all. Because at the end of the day, it's really nothing more or nothing else that I can say about that fuck nigga than what already ain't been done said. Like, I just can't sit up here and believe that you really sat up here and allowed this show and that woman to ruin 14 years. You threw away 14 years of love, um, arguments, breakups, makeups, moving in together, all the talk shows. Like... 14 years is a long ass time to be with somebody for you to just throw it away that quick for some bitch that can never amount to anything than what she is. Like, like, I, I just, I, I don't understand how people can get up here and, and, and lose what they have over people that just don't matter. And you all on social media, you standing up in the fuck shit and the fuckery, which I mean, I appreciate it. I mean, if you did it, say you did it. At least, at least I'll admit that you standing up in it. But it's just like at the end of the day, you have no heart, no soul or no compassion for nothing or nobody but your damn self. That's why you thought it was OK to bring that woman three illegitimate chair around there after 14 years of Shane had a baby by you by the first. That's why you think that she's supposed to waste another 14 years of her life waiting on you to decide to get it together. Waiting on you to decide when you want to marry her. Making her feel like, you know, making her feel like she has to be more deserving to marry you with some shit like that. Like, you some type of catch or you some type of prize. My nigga, you nothing. You use a wash up rapper that need to grow the hell up. That's who you are. Like, you just, like, I just can't, like, listen, this is the morale. This is how the morale goes down for black men. Everybody wants to put it on the um, LGBTQ community. Nah, I think fuck niggas like Darren are the ones that that, are, that do the most damage to our society. Because y'all have to ask yourself, would y'all want y'all kids to be mentored by somebody who thinks like him, who just throws away relationships and handles people any way he sees fit? It's only his feelings that matters. It's what he feels. It's what he thinks. It's what he wants. It's what he believes. 
Girl, I guess. Y'all, that's it. That's all I got. I ain't got no more to give you because I could go in and let have some more, but it's already getting late. And Lord knows that child, that raggedy punch buggy blue shaped ass whore can go jump off the nearest cliff that she can. Girl, bye. You will not be missed. You will not be missed. Like you really got up here and lowered your standards for, for, for some dick on a reality TV show from a washed up ass rapper that ain't nobody listening to nowhere in America. This show had to revive him because without this, everybody still would have forgotten smoke from Phil Mob. Then you say you got kids. That's another thing that's bringing down the curve of the black folk. Some of these trifling ass women who got kids, what type of examples are you setting for your damn child? If it's not okay for you, what the hell make you think it's ever going to be okay or acceptable for... You know what, y'all, I'm gone. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about tonight's episode before I, before I really get upset. I ain't got mad yet. So before I really get upset and I really start going in, let it have, I'm ending this right now. Um, Y'all make sure to like, comment, share, most importantly, subscribe. And make sure to subscribe to the second girl. <sighs> and make sure to subscribe to the second channel, which will be pinned down into the description box. Um, That's it. That's all I got. I ain't got no more to give you. Make sure to be on, to, on the lookout for Love After Lockup Review coming tomorrow, as well as Lovers and Friends. Um, and that's it. I think I'll be all cut up then. All right, you guys, I'm gone. Bye.